Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. <laughs> What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. <laughs> oh, fuck. Is that supposed to happen? Katie, <laughs> thank God. I think the break is coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. What kind oh. of stuff do babies need when they're being born? Kenny, You're come just on. just a sorry a bunch of fuckers. <laughs> right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing. And blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah. You, uh... Just stay here with Rebecca hold the fort and Kenny, down. okay? Your job Clem. is to count that grass. I know it must have been hard, but... Thank you for talking to Kenny. Meh. Nah. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? Well, even if she doesn't, You know, whatever. she doesn't seem to like being around people much. Uh, and she volunteered to head off awful fast. Shut up, I Bonnie. guess it could be nothing. I don't know Quit if trying to start shit. Back. I think she's scared about the baby. That's what I was afraid of. So it might be a good idea to have you go with her. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. I wanna check on Sarah. I'll help everyone else, too. I think that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast. And let's be careful. Good job, Luke. Very motivational. Hey, Sarah. You know, Rebecca's starting... They were going to leave me, weren't they? Of course not. Luke tried really hard to get you to come with him. How come you didn't leave me? Because we're friends. No, we're not. I just want my dad. I know. When he, when he gets here, we should all go back to the cabin. We're safe there. <sighs> sure. Sarah? Hey, I think that's all she can take for now. She'll be all right. The others could really. Oh, that was uplifting. I'll go help Jane. Good. Don't be too long if you can help it. <sighs> Time for wandering around. Looking at stuff, seeing if any of the stuff has a bubble on it. And if we can take it or do it or rub it on our face or stick it in our pockets. Or murder it like we've killed just about everything else in this fucking game. Poor doggo. Oh, hey. Be rad. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Oh, I know what happens. Don't worry, guys. It's... Partner, 
Just kind of play it by it. feel. Let's go. Well, I'm trying to recreate most of what I did the first time, except for things I that I deliberately wanted for. to do differently. Like God Sarita and a break. the thing at the beginning with Pete. Uh, she's had a gun. Uh, since we went to go look for Luke. Probably. Uh, she shot Troy. Uh, because Bonnie gave them all some weapons when they were escaping. Check this out. Remember, she shot Troy locked, in the dick. Which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Shame you convinced mm, me to get rid of my maybe hatchet. I can pick the lock. A nail file? Versatility is not overrated. See, when Jane's got her shit together, she's really great. You know, but uh, she it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. Pretty See hard. See if you can sometimes. find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Oh, I had a hatchet, but someone convinced me to get rid of it. Uh, there's a cannon. We could use the cannon. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. Oh. Fooey. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. Boo. Pussies. Oh, telescope. We had fun with this in the first one. Aww. I guess it's broken. Well, it needs a quarter, dummy. This is kind of a neat environment. When will it end this cruel, cruel world? War, not world. Uh, hmm, that's in the, the trashy dumper. Oh, yeah. Find anything? No, not even trash. Hmm, okay. Well, we have a further inside kind of thing? No, I guess not. Okay. Well, screw me for asking. I'm not getting a lot of places to look, you bastards. Talk to Jane. Talk to Jane. Do you think it'll be warmer in there? Those aren't really it's good so questions, cold out but here. It'll keep the wind chill off at least. Mm, Better than nothing. Fair. fair point, fair point. Well, and we can make stuff out of pine needles, too. You can get a lot of warmth out of pine bows. Bows. Something. Words. Does this one work? Oh, I'll be damned. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca would <clears throat> make it in her condition. Keep it in mind. Uh, Jane, there's hello. someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. Hmm. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Thought I was going to talk to him. Hmm. Okay. Some Resident Evil tier music. Hey. I'm just a kid. Please, don't hurt me. <laughs> that sounds rehearsed. Who are you? Well, he's kind of just a kid, too. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't, I don't want, want you to shoot, shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Uh, little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. <gasps> I'll say this ends badly for you, Back Arvo. Up. Put the bag down. Clem, 
Make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. Hmm. No, I have no more guns. I swear to... Oh, there you go, Fluffy. We have Russians. Anything? I didn't even think about mentioning that Whoa. to you. <laughs> That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh... I need to keep it... I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No! You are not nice people! You have already left me defenseless, and now you... You take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey! Ibanditi. We've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Uh, Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. We could take a little Look bit of it. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need that uh, stuff. Shit. Just as much as yours. You are not special. Uh, yes, you must we don't believe, believe a fucking word about your six sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Fuck. Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? No, no, I'm I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. I don't believe any of this. Medicine, Clementine. No, no, no. no. You cannot well, I didn't copies. click that. Did it You're click not keep? I'm oh, okay. Not robbing anybody. Okay. Just let him go. I saw the other option flash. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. Oh, I expected her to invalidate our decision by robbing him anyway. <laughs> yep. I think oh, she's going what to. What are you doing? You don't have to do this. Jane, don't do it. Don't Sides. you ever come around here again. The gunshot I don't will care if you do workers. have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Uh, okay. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? We should go get everyone else. Yeah. We're not like Carver, Jane. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place open. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. That's the whole point of not being like Carver, is to continue to not be like Carver. Aside from the beating Carver to death thing. So that's where the problem comes in. You uh, die a hero or live to see yourself become a real prick. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? Yeah. I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. The deck might be a safe place we can stay tonight, where Rebecca could have the baby. At least, if we can't find something better. I guess that's something. I should check it out. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah. She's trying to get the gift shop open. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, everyone just, gets tempered by hardship. Broken. broken people get reckless. Don't you talk shit about my Kenny. No, you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. Don't he go tries there, to Luke. Protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but. Luke, I shot my best friend in the head. What would you have done if it was you? Well, I don't know. Really, I don't. I just think less. You do think less, Luke. 
You're a follower, not a doer. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. I also shot the man who was trying to kill my best friend in the head. Clem's mercy killed a couple people that needed it. I'm not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Keep getting disconnected Nothing's the chat wrong. Servers. Babies know how to be born. I'm not dropping frames, though. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Well, since we've been on the run, Luke's been in over his head. He's one of those guys that, when everything's stable and normal, he's good. Glad you made it back safe. He's too normal. How are you feeling? Nick Excuse was a little you. fucked up. That's it why hurts. he was doing a little bit better. He was unfortunately <laughs> stupid, though. I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby. Back at Carver's. In the office. He stayed behind to stop the people chasing us. He died to keep us safe. Jesus. Of course. Of course he did. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? Alvin told me that he thinks the baby's going to be a girl. Oh, yeah? That big dummy never did have a sense for these things. I've got a feeling this one's a boy. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ah, oh shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust her, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on them. Well, that's just Go sensible, ahead. Kenny. Anything could have happened. Oh shit, what'd I do? I accidentally faded everything out. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sarah? I don't see Sarah anywhere. Eh, whatever. We'll move on. This one is really good. Oh, there she is. Shit. I'm not sure... I like playing as Clementine, which is nice. And some of the situations in this are gnarly as fuck. But the whole overall feel is calmer, I think? I don't know. I'm not sure. If I had to pick which one of these I like better between hey, one Clem. and two, I'm not sure where I I'd go. I'd probably with go with Jane. one, just because she Lee was off, exceptional. Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? Well, it's just a... And the cannibal hey, chapter was found just a place for incredible. Rebecca to have the baby. So An observation good. deck with a gift shop. It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. The, the ending just scene like for that chapter to search was... He doesn't want to go back Powerful. empty handed. What? I just want to help. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I want to decide look around this fucker. Deal. This place is too big and Clementine's too slow. I sure hope we can find something to take back. Me too. Well, what about this big building you're trying? Are you looking at a box? Yes, I used my save from that, that playthrough. Water and blankets just to get people out of the oh yeah, no. The, the, oh, you don't know what the hell the, you're talking about. The second, about. the second chapter in the first game in. is really no, great. I and that, that link from up ahead. Never mind. I made really bad choices sometimes. That was my first time through. There have sure been some animals through here. Watch where you step. I regret Ben. Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? Shut up, Bonnie. No. You're still not cute. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. It's a joke, Clem. <sighs> Good point. I like Cataclysm DDA, but I just wish it looked prettier. Jane said these don't work anymore. But it's fun to play anyway. No, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also really loud. Mmm, Good point. point. What about the crank gun? Could we take the crank gun? Ooh, this is another good 
camera direction scene. I love the the Are foreground stuff. No, hey, yeah, thing. Not so much. What the hey, hell? Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Oh. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Kenny said we need blankets. It's not really a blanket, but but it should do the trick. Probably made Good out call. of something near canvas. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad. Yeah, I've seen about people play everything it. Everything that happened. Hopefully, you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you do. I haven't always used the best judgment. It seems like you're with us now. That's what matters most. True. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh. Shut up, Mike. We can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. You guys are just better than nothing, though. That shit. Of all the shit to matter right now, that was the appropriate look to give them, Clementine. Bitch, are you serious? Lee would have loved this place. It was a history TV. It was history or English? Good? I think it was Not history. Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over. I would, but the controls are getting tell wonky you, as shit. I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. That's not how what zombies work, Bonnie. You're in a graveyard all the time. That's a valid yeah, point, Mike. True enough. Hey, now Mike's out of the fucking way. We can look at the door. Yeah, I know. It's like okay, I'll let you know as soon as I find another blanket thing. When I when I find a Union code in Kentucky, I'll be sure to alert you. More schnapps. <laughs> Something. Water. Oh, Bottled there you go. and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. Don't get cute. I could Bonnie. try just to pry it open some it. more, but I don't, I don't know like if it. that'll help much. No, I mean. Maybe. All right. All right. I'll oh, go. Jesus, Thanks, just man. ask. Just open the door from the other Pricks. side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. Uh, you can stop patronizing me anytime, you ginger bitch. <laughs> I'm stuck. Okay. Maybe I push from. Oh shit! How about pull? Pull is good. Oh. Cue. <laughs> Sneaky fucking zombie. <laughs> they should have started making noise when the shutter went up. Well, that happened. Plot device zombie. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Guess I'm not quite as small as I used to be. But you're tough for your size. Shit. You're tough for my size. Damn I'm right. I'm sorry I asked you. I won't do it again. It was the best decision. Calm your tits. At least now we got something to bring back. It's dangerous out here. I'll keep here. checking the other room. Let's get this one. Uh, that was just... It didn't feel ham-fisted. I mean, we're in a Civil War museum thing. Hey. Oh, shit. I got this. Oh, I wasn't even trying. <laughs> yeah, you got it, Mike. Go for it. <laughs> I'm still cool, though. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, that's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. We're gonna have to be conservative as hell. What do you mean? Nothing. Nothing. Just... That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Yes. Come on, stick close. 
Okay. Just don't make me walk all the way over there. I just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. Trash you panda. Eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Okay, we'll eat the raccoon. Not like, you I eat mean, the. Just, just that I'd be really happy to eat the raccoon. <laughs> and starve it. Fresh meat would go a long way. You're pretty together. great, Mike. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Where is it? Hmm. Over here! Durr. Get it, Bonnie. Oh! Oh! Sh shoot! Dang it! Well, shit. Not with the walkers out there. Oh, we got babbies. <sighs> I suppose that means life still exists. I'm even hungrier than I was before. <sighs> How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? I like Mike a lot. Well, Mike's pretty sucks. great. Yeah. Yeah, it does. There's a few folks that could use a hot meal. That's probably for the better. Come on. Let's just get this back to Rebecca I and the others. I think Bonnie was homeless. We don't have at, much time to waste. Because she's from 400 Days. I don't think she was during her actual portion of the story, but I think she was at some point in her life. You're so telling me your arms ain't tired? Very tenacious. Nope. I could do this all day. Oh shit. <laughs>